And now they're in transition. Three on two to our left. Uh, Sean, backside. Stang scores! Sam Stang, the freshman from Eau Claire, with an absolute rocket that beat Oscar Audio. It's 1-1. Caulfield works around two Penn State players and scores. Oh, he zipped one. Pass Solier, stick side. A weaving sweet move by Cole Caulfield. A power play goal. It's three zip, Wisconsin. Long lead feed brought down in midair by Cole Caulfield. Right circle. Toe pole. He snaps one off. Goodness. Cole Caulfield cleanly beats Solier. His second of the night, third of the weekend. It's 6-1 Badgers. A dozen scored by Wisconsin this weekend. Guys are filling roles, uh, <clears throat> you know, left and right. I mean, down the middle, uh, you know, we have depth. And, um, obviously, you saw that. a lot of offense this weekend for us, which was big. Um, you know, the consistency and, and sticking with it, you know, when things don't go our way, the ref makes a call that we're not proud of or, or we don't like, and, you know, we just keep coming over the top and we just keep rolling. Um, you know, everybody was going, I thought we had a lot of energy. I think, you know, Monday night's game, we didn't, we didn't really have the legs, but we stuck with it and, you know, found, found ways to keep it going. And tonight, I think we just rolled over them. And, um, I think we're just the better team tonight and that showed. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of how we're doing. And, um, yeah, I like where we're at. He's had good jump all year, and he's had what I think, you know, really good chances. Yeah, you know, he hasn't felt that way. You know, they haven't gone in for him and, and talking to him uh, in the last few days. You know, geez, I just don't feel like I'm getting chances. And, and I go back, I look at the video, and I see, you know, I see every night him getting, you know, what I think are really good chances. So, so tonight was one of those nights where hopefully it's a, a start for him to, to get that rhythm going. Uh, I don't think he needs confidence. He's got a ton of confidence, but but I think this is a, a hopefully a start of okay. I, I'm, I'm, I got my groove now. I, I work through it, and, and now I'm shooting the puck the way I want to. Today. But uh, obviously, it's it's huge for our team to get, get him to him in that. It's back, the return of the prestigious Learfield IMG College Directors' Cup, honoring college sports excellence across all competitive divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow along with L Directors' Cup on Twitter or online to see which schools will be taking home a first-place trophy in June for their season-long success. Learfield IMG College Directors' Cup, a premier institutional award jointly launched in 1993 by USA Today and NACTA. Gorniak ties up Doherty. Baker battling, gets help from Gorniak, and here's Baker now, breakaway short, and it comes in and shoots and scores! Oh, Gorniak with a play near wall. That freed Baker. He snaps one off right down the middle on a breakaway for Tarek Baker. It's 4-1 Wisconsin. Kind of a loose puck on the, on the wall there. Um, uh, the D, you know, he made it actually a pretty good play to keep it in there. I thought I was going to chip it and get it by him. And, um, didn't end up happening, um, so I kind of caught myself. But then Gorney, with the speed he's got and everything, he was right there. Uh, made a strong play on the puck there and just kind of took the body and the puck and popped out to me, lucky enough, and I was all alone. And yeah, I went bottom, <laughs> bottom left. So that first, their first goal uh, was kind of my bad on my, on my part. You know, uh, Inno blocked a big shot. Um, he was down on the ground and. Uh, you know, I gotta, I gotta be able to look back and pick up that winger sitting on the backside and play, play a little defense there. And um, so I gave that one up. So, you know, me and my line mates we were talking about how we had to go get one back. And you know, luckily enough, I was given the opportunity there and uh, made the best of it. So, while the Wisconsin Badgers remain in first place in the Big Ten, kick out saved by Baydoon in tight. The horn sounds. A 6-3 win last night against the Nittany Lions and a 7-3 victory tonight. Wisconsin now 4-2-0-1 in league play while Penn State falls to 0 and 4 Hat trick tonight for sophomore Cole Caulfield and Robbie Baydoon kicked out 35 shots. The Badgers win here tonight 7-3 and earn their first sweep against Penn State since March of 2014.
It was good. It was important because last night, you know, it took us a while to get going. Uh, you know, I don't think we really got going and played our game till the third period last night. I think Robbie was the key the first two. And tonight was one of those games where, okay, that one was behind us. We got a win. We, we gutted it out. Let's do, you know, let's play our game tonight. Let's take, take the game to them. And, and that's the way we started. And I thought we carried it on through, you know, most of the game, there were some times when they had some really good pushes, and I think the shorthanded goal that Bay scored there was was really important for us to, to, to regain that three-goal lead to go in to the third. So that was kind of a backbreaker for them. And then you get those two goals to start the third period, and, and uh, you know, we're off and running. So, so I thought our offensive play this weekend was really impressive because when you miss two horses in Dylan and Dylan and Ty, and you're able to score 13 goals in a weekend, you know, you're doing things well offensively. So you got to give a credit to really all, all four lines contributed, found ways to help us offensively. Uh, and Robbie Badoon in the net was sensational again. I thought there were, you know, were lots of our defensemen that had great games as well. Anthony Kerr for, for a freshman, his contributions through his first six games can't go unnoticed because he's, he's been stellar back there. So, so I think there's lots of things to feel really good about this weekend and, and, you know, now we got two games that are somewhat a little bit dangerous from the standpoint they're not league games, but they, they, they are extremely meaningful games for, for us and for our conference to play well this weekend coming up. So so we got to rest up, recover from this one, and then have a day off tomorrow and get ready to go for, for again, we're playing a lot of hockey in a, sh in a short period of time, so it's important to, to uh, you know get focused on the next challenge that's in front of us.